I'm Christina Charles and I'm a yoga and fitness instructor based in Woodstock, New York, USA. When did your health problems connected with your digital electric needles begin? About two years ago um, is when I started really noticing um, the symptoms uh, becoming severe in my life. Um, how, how did it affect your health? Well, um, it started um, with migraine headaches. I, you know, since I was a kid, I would get migraines maybe, you know, once a month or every two months or periodically from time to time. So I was familiar with, you know, a migraine headache. And um, when I moved into the house that I'm living in now, uh, I started getting chronic migraines uh, practically every day of my life. How did you know it was the smart leader? It was a long journey to finding out. It took me almost two years to find out. Um, only recently did I discover it was the smart meter. I thought it was my Wi-Fi box. My son, my teenage son, uh, really wanted uh, Wi-Fi for his uh, little gadgets and all these wireless technology toys that the kids were, you know, the latest rage that they're all, you know, playing with. And um, so I reluctantly agreed to it. I intuitively felt, you know, the Wi-Fi wasn't really the healthiest thing, and I really strive to be a very healthy person, to have a healthy lifestyle. But my son talked me into it, and um, it became his right arm. It became his um, his school tool, his research tool, his you know, his basically his right arm. So he needed that and every time I would say whenever the Wi-Fi box is on I've got this terrible headache and even when you're turning it off it's lingering I don't know why but I'm getting these terrible headaches and I was linking it to that so finally after a lot of debate in our family everybody agreed that um, it was not good for our, our home or for our household and so we got rid of the Wi-Fi box and I thought, victory, I'm going to, you know, be better again because this thing I knew for sure was affecting me. So we got rid of the Wi-Fi box, we went back to the Ethernet, and um, the symptoms did not disappear. So in a frantic kind of fury, I started, started searching my house to see what in God's name in my house was like a Wi-Fi because I was having the exact same symptoms. It, and it wasn't just a migraine, it wasn't just like a, a headache. It was like a squeezing in, a squeezing in of my brain, really a, a sensation of almost like a charley horse. Where were you forced in your house when you noticed it? Well, as the symptoms worsened, it wasn't just the migraines. It started, it started there. Um, eventually, it became uh, vertigo. And it would happen every time I would uh, cook a meal or wash the dishes in my kitchen. And it was the weirdest thing. I, I'd go in to cook a meal and I'd be at my stove making tacos or some soup or something. And I'd start to get so dizzy that I could barely stand. So I, I started researching um, different, you know, different things uh, that could be possibly causing this. I did discover that my mouse and my keyboard of my Mac were also wireless. So you know, that would need to be replaced. Um, nothing was remedying the situation, so I finally decided I was just going to walk the circumference of my house and see what was going on. And then I come upon the, the meter box um, that it never even occurred to me look, to look at because I wasn't educated as to the smart meter issue at the time. And I saw that it was a digital meter and it looked different than the ones I had grown up with, the, you know, the analog spinning meters. So I just Googled it and said, are the new, are these um, electronic meters, uh, the meter reader uh, on the side of the house, are they wireless technology? Is this Wi-Fi? And I opened up Pandora's box at that point and found out that this is not only um, Wi-Fi, but it is beaming into our house, pulsing through our house continuously throughout the entire day and night. And, um, and that's what was causing my symptoms. As soon as I started covering and protecting and shielding from it, the symptoms disappeared and I normalized again. So I've, I've experienced a lot of relief since then, but that's not to say that this is not still a very, you know, a pandemic issue for the planet because it's, you know, those on high are trying to get these on every household. Did you visit a doctor uh, when this was happening? 
I didn't. Um, like Catherine, I'm, I'm very alternative. You know, I, I um, over the course of you know many years have uh, have really gotten into alternative health. Uh, so I'll have my go-to tonics and my teas and and the herbs and uh, you know sovereign silver and these different things would always knock flus and anything that was coming through the house. You know, um, just completely clear it out. So. I wasn't one to go to a doctor unless it was like, you know, a broken arm or something like, you know, a real issue like that. So I just, I just quietly suffered it and, um, and thought that maybe I was, my, I was under a lot of stress or perhaps maybe I wasn't getting enough sleep. Certainly my sleep was also affected. Um, I didn't feel like I was getting REM sleep. And it wasn't until about a year after living in my house that I turned to my husband one day and I said, you know what? I haven't been dreaming. I, I'm not dreaming anymore. Nothing. There's no dream happening for me. And I used to be an avid dreamer, you know, lucid dreaming, flying, and having control in my dreams. I would had I had these really amazing dreams all my life, and then suddenly living in this house, I don't dream anymore. So um, that was a red flag. And I noticed that when I was sleeping at the head of my bed, I was also experiencing a lot of vibration, almost like I was feeling like a mild sense of electricity coming through my, my nervous system. So uh, I made us move the bed and we reconfigured the bedroom a million times over to try and get us um, away. And now we're sleeping in the very middle of the room, away from the walls. So what did you do uh, to remedy this problem? Where are you, where are you right now with, uh, with the symptoms? The symptoms have subsided. I, I, I have a number of layers of um, protection that I have to adhere to um, in order to be you know, a functioning member of society that, that doesn't walk around with headaches and chronic pain. So um, first thing, uh, I shielded the meter. I researched every YouTube video. I found out you know, what was um, available out there. Uh, a lot of it was very pricey, and I'm on a budget, and you know, so I decided that I was going to buy the materials and MacGyver it myself, you know, just kind of rig it together. And it turned out that um, in this time that I was going through this and um, you know, finding different shieldings, learning about grounding technology, uh, I learned about Organite. Um, the first real relief I ever had was when I held a big crystal in my hands, and suddenly my pain subsided. It was over the course of many minutes, but the extreme space I was in subsided. So a number of different things I've used, but when I ran into Raji, uh, an old friend of mine who I'd known from years back, um, while I was going, you know, really in the, in the depths of this and uh, just started talking to her in the first couple of minutes, uh, she, I found out she was going through the same thing and we were commiserating about this and we were able to find out, um, you know, how to, how to uh, approach this even more powerfully. Have you contacted your utility company about this? Yes, of course. The second I found out that it was wireless technology, I called them and um, I was kind of up in arms, honestly, after I read about what smart meters are really about and that they're using microwave radiation to communicate um, and you know, pulsating through our bodies. And I, I suggested that you know, they switch it back. Can I please get my analog meter back? And they said, no, um, that's not an option. That's not an option.